Hi sweeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so today I will be shooting a smoke Q&A with me. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that a smoke QA because I'm gonna smoke and then we are gonna answer questions that y'all would like to know about me. Guys, how's my hairstyle? And how's this lipstick on me? Like I haven't worn this lipstick in a while. And now I know why I was a baddie in high school because I mean what? There's a giant. So guys, there's a giant. It's a bit windy outside, but it's like the windy that I like. Like, no, it's windy. Peace of mind, windy. So I'm gonna smoke it now. Hi guys, so finally this video is starting. So sorry if y'all went too far smoking, but it's anywho. Here are the questions you won't see because of the sunlight is reflecting on the tablet. So I'm gonna read them from my tablet. So yeah, let's get started. Um, um so the first question is saying uh, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I'm diving into this with no script, nothing. What inspired me to start a YouTube channel? Well, uh, what inspired me is actually me learning how to do makeup. So I learned how to do makeup um, by watching um, YouTubers. Uh, my favorite YouTuber is called uh, Charlie Bible. Oh, I love her. She used to like, back in the day, she used to like do content like relating to makeup. Um, you know diy stuff like diy chokers diy clothing so absolutely loved her and also one that we might all know in south africa um mishali in mishali and mishali ndamase hi sana they are trying again go and call noti mishali aibo aibo na leti mishali ndamase um she's like also for me like one of the youtubers i started watching and obviously diara and ken but they know now are together so um i think mainly the people i was watching uh on youtube they inspired me to start it um because i mean i started learning makeup and i was like i would like to teach someone i would like to 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 you know talk to people talk to my phone i would love it because i talk a lot as well so i feel like youtube is like a great platform for me and i'm a bit shy so on youtube i just post my video and leave it there you know and like on instagram twitter you're getting backlash retweets and all that you know what i mean so yeah that's what inspired me to start my own youtube channel like precisely just me learning how to do makeup and other youtubers getting money off youtube uh question number two is what is your favorite foundation brand and why would you recommend it so my favorite favorite absolute favorite um i only brought two because my makeup case is a dress and i left it so this foundation is called la lab right by pip it's a pip foundation it's not high end it's not expensive at all like i think you get these for like 45 pounds if not 50 now i'm not sure but 
I live by these girls. I have so many in my professional kit. Oh my gosh. Um, the reason why it's my favorite is because, and why I would recommend it is because like it gives skin. Uh, the video I posted before this one, um, where I went to church, I was wearing that foundation, and you wouldn't say it gives skin. It it allows your skin to breathe. It's so soft, like bro. It even smells good, like. Mm like it smells good and like it doesn't damage your skin at all actually i feel like it protects my skin i'm gonna start wearing it you guys want to see it in my vlogs when i go back to school like i'm ready for this semester like i wasn't ready for semester because it was my first time doing this whole sewing stuff now i'm ready you're gonna see it's this guys if you want to take a screenshot like there like i swear this is my color like my summer color a mixture of this and this is my winter color. This one. Like, I swear, I love it. The next question is, guys, <laughs> who is your favorite ex? So, guys, my favorite ex. Who is my favorite ex? Mm, I don't want to say names. And, like, I mean, my boyfriend is my favorite now. So it's not necessary to say my favorite eggs, but I'm gonna give the viewers what they want. My favorite eggs um goes by the name of Lichie. <laughs> Anywho, move on. Um, number four. <clears throat> what is the most insane thing you have done in public? The most insane thing I've done in public is, uh, guys, don't judge me. I was still very young, exploring life. Mm, I would say have sex. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Um, the next question is, how would you describe your fashion sense? How would I describe my fashion sense? Um, I feel like my fashion sense is girly, uh, very girly, or but but it can be like freeing. Like I just dress how the fuck I wanna dress, and I feel like I haven't been paying attention to how I'm dressing and how I should be dressing as a fashion designer. But like you know what? Now's the time. You know they say late is never too late or either. Is whatever that saying is that one, that one, sweetie, that one. I just don't know it. Like, guys, this tablet takes so quickly to switch off. Okay, um, the next question is, um, what is your type? I love a man that loves God, a man that loves God more than me. I love a man that loves God, like, genuinely. That's my type. I love a man that loves God. Yeah. And uh, I say my preference is I like tall men. I like tall men. I don't want to be the same size, the same height as my boyfriend. No. Uh, caring. You know. Loving. Um, very patient. Like I swear. I love the tablet again. I said thank you, but like very patient, um, calm men, and I like me, mm. like you know, a strong man. You know, yeah. The next question is, what is your favorite dish? My favorite dish. My favorite dish. Let me think about it. I love pasta. It was sun and day time pasta and this way I'm yonke. I love pasta. Any pasta, give it to me. Any. I love pasta. Pasta, spaghetti, macaroni, anything. Give it to me. I'll be happy. Um hip hop or piano. Well yeah, that's the next question. Oh guys, I'm losing trailer thoughts. But yeah, the next question is hip hop or piano. 
uh, I would say um, both, like both, because hip hop is good sometimes, and then piano slaps also sometimes, not all the time. Like also, cause mama le piano oko 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 ya tika, cause back we need to groove. Like I remember. Mm -hmm. In Eastern Cape when I was playing my lovey Davy songs, you know, because I was going through the most in December. They were like so irritated. My cousins were like, I'm finding Kazla Lingoma is me, Baba Voom, Lingoma is Nalanto man. And I'm like, no. But now I get it, I get it. It's just that I've been cool. We should have in this boy. But like, like yeah, I like um, these genres different times. Like, not all the time but like both of them uh the next question is do you see yourself as someone's wife yes i do i do see myself as someone's wife i feel like the growth i'm doing now i'm doing it for my future kids and my future husband and myself mainly myself so i can be a better me for my kids and my husband because I do see myself as someone's wife, guys. I do want to get married. I do see myself having a big day, going down the aisle. But, like, um, ideally, I do. I feel like I would make a great wife. Yes, I know there's, like, some progress that I must do. But I feel like I would make a great wife. Um, yeah. I don't know if my lighting is still good. Who is your favorite designer that being the next question um my favorite fashion designer i would say uh, it is i don't know how to say his name but he's known as magla damn that man that man magla i don't want to say wrong things so i'm just going to say magla that's how i know him as my favorite designer he's actually the person who inspired me to actually go into design and be like you know what i'm gonna do this and yeah i'm gonna see um which brand do you want to collaborate with hopefully guys i love makeup now guys i love makeup because remember i'm a somatologist after all qualified somatologist not just a fashion designer so a brand i would love love to collaborate with is mac guys mac yo mac mac cosmetics oh gosh my dream and also um moving uh, clothing wise i would like to collaborate with chanel and i would like to make a nice line with them i feel like their aesthetic like lines up with what i like and what i would design you know and also magla uh possibly deal not sure but maybe i don't know guys i'm just aiming and yeah aim my and i serve a big god a huge god a living god hey a god of his word so it's fine i'm gonna aim and i'm gonna reach those things of aiming. also um i would love to work with guys this brand la Lab. Oh, Betunana, LA Lab. Like, their products are fucking amazing. The lipsticks, moist, but like, they don't transfer. But this is not LA Lab, no. This is Black Opal, baby. So, but like, guys, I'm telling you, what else, what else, what else, what else would I like to work with? Mm, I would love to work with Rihanna. Like, whether it's makeup, clothing, I'd love to work with her. Just Fenty. Um, what else? I would love to work with... I would love to, love to, with my whole heart, to work with Tebe Makoko. That man! <laughs> he makes me want to scream! Yes, that is my favorite designer. Actually, scratch that. Not Magla. My favorite designer is Tebe Makoko. What the fuck, bitch? But anyways, we scratching this, okay? Let's act like you didn't hear me say Magla. But my favorite designer is Uteba Makoko. Yes, it's not that because I'm young. Okay. But also, um, yeah, that's the brand that I love to collab. 
Uh, number 12, um, what mostly inspires my fits? What inspires my fits is my sister's style, like back in the day, and also just like old clothes. I really like old pre length clothing, and also um, the 2000s era, you know, 1999s era. Love that era. That inspires my style. Those girls were effortlessly gorgeous. Did not need makeup, not too much makeup, not too much skin showing, but um, the statement they made when they walked in. Like, guys, look at EVE. Look at, um, oh, guys, look at, who's this girl? Tony from, um, Girlfriends. Look at, ooh, who's this girl? Lil Kim. Guys, their style was bold in. Mm. So, yeah those errors um number 13 um what inspired my creative process i think being a visual artist because i draw i paint i love painting with my whole heart i think that's what inspired my creative process to bring me to what i'm to bring me up and I all content but yes, uh, my creative process is mainly inspired by how artistic I am how I love colors I really love colors how I love looking at other things and being like oh my gosh this is so beautiful finding beauty in things that people wouldn't think beautiful I think that's what inspires my creative process and the last question guys to seal this Q and A is any advice for a woman struggling to fall in love with the right people? Yo, girl, this I wish I had a chair in this bathroom. I was gonna sit down because this is actually something I was also struggling with. Um, little story time. So, like, I was struggling with giving men who don't deserve me a chance like i remember and i want to say this i remember in grade i think i was in grade 12 i had some situation shape where me and this guy were like casually fucking guys um to like i was using him as a way to detox from a trick because he did the same with me but really i didn't enjoy the sex he was bad in bed he actually hurt me sorry guys Okay, <laughs> I wanna cut some parts out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let me just say, yeah, I was settling with that guy. So, mm, like, I only saw after the guy started acting like a dick that he actually is booty girl. We are settling, I'm like, ha ha ha, ikaka. But, the advice I'm gonna give you is that girl, um, you know, at times we forget who we are. I want you to remember who the fuck you is, okay? I want you to remember who the fuck you is and I want you to get up. Who's Tinti Tene? Ube the baddest you can be. Well not in that instance of wow, you're bad, but you're bad. <laughs> but yes, um, the advice I would give you is that I feel like start holding yourself to a higher pedestal. Start treating yourself the way you would like to treat yourself as future you. You get what I mean? Start doing things that you would think future you would do. Take yourself out. Uh, I feel like like men don't have to be our sole purpose of happiness. I feel like you should. Um, that deep and like get to know yourself even more even if you think you do just like do the arts i swear i'm such an artist when i'm going through it and men are just disappointing me i just decide you know what self-introspect and see okay maybe what am i trying to run away from or what am i trying to avoid by taking and settling you get on me like things taking like lesser men men who don't deserve you because i feel like 
once you step into your power and you show men guti like but I feel like be selfish with you. Nobody should just get you like that. And that was something also I used to struggle with. Like everybody had access to me. Like everybody knows my lady. And guys. Uh uh guys. Mazia again Londo. Nobody really needs to know you unless it's necessary, you know? But I would just say, man, enjoy life. I'm telling you, it's not your fault. It's these men's fault. Just enjoy life, be patient, and your prison will come. Because, I mean, I had to be patient for the longest time ever. You will sign the longest time ever. But yeah, I suck at giving advice. I hope that was good enough. <laughs> Any of you guys, if you put food down. Yeah. So guys, yeah, the video, it is done, it is finished, and the helicopters in Kelton Park are making a noise. So I'm just gonna baba you, so you guys, right now, right here, right there, and the hands. Peace, my sweeties. Bye. Enjoy your day. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Like, I mean, you've watched so this long. Okay, subscribe, in one day. Hi, my sweetie. Come subscribe. Come pay a girl who like no subscribe. Really? Till next time. Bye.